you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. Good morning everyone, welcome back to a brand new rewards video. It is of course Thursday morning, 8 o'clock. Now apparently... The scheduled downtime on FIFA. However, I'm on the game. I loaded it up an hour after the downtime and was able to get on. And we are able to claim our Division uh, 2 Rank 3 rewards, which I'm actually happy about. Now, last week, we actually finished in Rank 2. As you guys saw, we got Aguero from it. Now, this week, we finished in Rank 3, which is the rank I wanted to finish in because we get 250k packs and two rare players packs. So, I wanted to... Uh, sorry, two rare election players packs. I prefer this to 650k packs and 215k packs, mainly because I just think that... Rank 2 is just excessive and kind of needless and a little bit boring to open. So I thought we'd be better off with Rank 3. And this weekend, we of course finished in Elite 3. We finished 23 and 6 this weekend, which I'm very happy about to be back in my Elite winning ways. Uh, it was difficult, I'm not going to lie. Uh, recently, I've started going to the gym. Surprise, I know. Um, but recently, I started going to the gym and uh, I got back on Sunday after my literal first session. Uh, I was so dead and managed to play, stay up until 4 a.m., play like 15 champs games and win 11 of them. I don't know how I managed to do it, but I managed to do it, so I'm happy about that. And we do, of course, have 70,000 coins, three rare player picks, um, one jumbo rare players pack and a premium team of the week pack. And, of course, the 2,000 champs points, which I don't mean to prolong the packs or anything, but I am going to quickly go and claim now because I know for a fact I will forget if I don't go and do it. So, uh, qualification process. We'll quickly go ahead and redeem qualification because I just want to make sure that I am qualified for tomorrow's weekend league. Uh, and we'll go ahead and open up all the packs. Now, in terms of reds, let's have a look at the team of the week real quick on Footbin and see what I'd like there. I would love a James Rodriguez, a Sterling. Pepe looks incredible. He'd be great. The other Pepe would be all right for SBCs. Leda would be great for SBCs. Ben Yedder looks like a great super sub. Vardy looks like a great super sub. Uh, so any of the above, really. Let's have a look at what we can get. Now, I'm going to go with the first one. Come on, give me that Hammers. Give me something good. Come on, EA. It's going to be Biglia, 84 rated. I mean, it's not a good start, is it, really? It's, a, it's, a, it's an 84 rated card. It's not what you want from Elite 3. You know, you grind, you stay until 4 a.m. It's not exactly what you want there. But we'll go ahead with the next one. Come on, EA. Let's see something big. Please, come on. Vardy. Vardy's very decent, actually. I'm happy with that. That's a good pull. 88 stamina on the card. 94 aggression. Decent attack position in finishing. Uh, not amazing composure, but you know what? He might be a really good super sub, so I'll go ahead and take Vardy. That's pretty decent. Can we get something higher rated, though? I'm looking for a high rated finishing elite. I've only ever really had one high rated usable red, so come on, EA, please. Give us something good. Come on. Ben Yedder, oh my word, we've done well, we have done very well, I am very happy with that, that's a great card, I'm happy with those three, I mean, I'm happy with these two here, not, not really bothered about Biglia, but I'm very happy with Ben Yedder, and I'm very happy with Jamie Vardy, we'll take that, that's actually really sick, so um, let's get straight into the packs, let's get into my rival rewards and my champs rewards, we're going to start off with the two rare election players packs, from Rivals, let's see if we can get something good now. I'm very, very satisfied with the Ben Yedda pool. I'm very, very satisfied with the Vardy pool. Let's see if we can get a walkout, an inform, something like that to make it a very successful pack opening. We're going to start off with Viviano. Boards are all right. We'll take boards. But the rare silvers are what I'm looking for here because um, I know we're going to have like SBCs in the near future. Foot birthdays coming up. You never know what they'll throw at us. So all these uh, rare silvers are very decent to have. You know, like a, a decent MLS silver there in case I need him for like an MLS. SBC incoming. Uh, we've got a decent, I mean, he's not going to sell, he's not going to sell, but we've got some decent players out we can use for even worse comes to worse icon SBCs for like the silver one and the icon, the silver, the silver SBC, the icon SBCs. So pretty decent there. Let's go with the rare election players pack next and see what we can get from this. It's not going to be a walkout again. Could be a board? It's going to be a board. That's decent. We'll take it. Come on, be 85. It's going to be Brazilian. It's going to be goalkeeper. Allison? No, he's actually a walkout now. It's going to be Neto. 84 raid. Not too bad. We'll take that. That's also pretty decent. Uh, I'm happy with that. I think I think it's going well so far. Let's see what silvers we've got in here as well. Ooh, 284s in one pack. That is decent. And in fact, we've got some decent silvers as well. We've got a decent uh, Brazilian silver there. We've got, you know, we've got some not too bad silvers, to be fair. And 284s in one pack is always nice to see. So we'll go ahead and take that. Thank you very much, EA. Um... Now we have the 250k packs from Rivals. Again, like any of the informs will be fantastic or just any high-rated pools will be fantastic from these packs. So let's see if we can get something good. First one's going to be a walkout. Come on. Be something good. 
What's it going to be? It's going to be a normal walkout. What's it going to be? It's going to be... Ooh, it's going to be Hamshake. <clears throat> Not bad. I know, by the way, I get a lot of people in the comments like, why is this guy asking for something good if he's got 3 million queens? Why not? Why not? Why should I not, you know? Does that mean I don't deserve good pack pools if I've got coins, you know? It, it doesn't. If I get something good, it doesn't mean that someone else somewhere else doesn't get something good. That's not how pack luck works. It just doesn't work like that. I don't take a hamshake from a less fortunate player that hasn't got as many coins as me. So the comments, it doesn't make any sense. But I'll take a hamshake. That's fantastic. You know, it's high rated. That's great. I'm hoping that we get a Matthias SBC soon, which I want to complete if we do. So that would be great for that. We'll go ahead and take that. Uh, we'll discard Kuyate. Not really too interested. That's good. Can we get, imagine we get back-to-back -back walkouts. That would be pretty exciting. No back-to-back -back walkouts. Can we get a board at least? Yes, we can. We can get a board. Go on. What's it going to be? It's going to be Brazilian. It's going to be centre-back. It's going to be Felipe from Porto. 83 rated. I mean, we'll take it. You know, we'll store it in the club. It's going to be uh, SBC kind of followed to say the least. Is there anything else in the pack? Not really. Uh, we'll go ahead and discard those two. It's pretty much going to be SBC kind of fodder. Now for the Elite 3 Champs rewards. This is what I grinded 30 or 29 games this weekend for. This is what I stayed up till 4am for in, on Sunday morning. Feeling, oh, Monday morning, should I say. Feeling achy, feeling like rubbish. You know, I had no energy, but I stayed up until 4am to finish my Champs games. Let's see what we can get from these champs rewards. So we're going to start off with a walkout in the 100k pack. Come on. It's going to be an informed walkout as well. What's it going to be? It's going to be English striker Jamie Vardy. I, I thought that was going to be Sterling, you know. I really had... I don't know why I just thought it was going to be Sterling. If it was Sterling, that would have been... I, I don't even know. But that's 60,000 coins to be fair. I'll take it. That's really good. That's actually solid. 60k, not bad. Not bad at all. Come on. 60. Oh, what a pack. Two informs. Is there anything in the duplicates? There's nothing high in the dupes. That is a sick pack. We've got inform Ake and inform Vardy. How much is Ake selling for? Ake, Nathan Ake. How much is he selling for, bud? He's going for about 30k. So I made about 100k in that pack. 66k from Vardy, 30k from Ake, and the, the discards and whatnot. I made about 100,000 coins in that pack. That is actually a fantastic 100k pack. We'll take that. That's brilliant. All right, next pack. Premium Team of the Week pack. Come on, EA. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. Come on. No walkout. Of course it's not. I have never had a good Team of the Week pack. I have finished Elite 1. I have finished Elite 2. I have finished Elite 3. I have never in my life had a good Team of the Week pack. To the point where I actually sometimes consider... When I'm on a good record to stay at gold one, just for the 200k packs. For the two 100k packs, because it's not worth it. And you know what? That, in my opinion, I know I got I got about 100k back from the 100k pack. I've got 70,000 coins. This pack's worth about 30k. So in total for Elite 3, we made 200k. And I, I know it sounds ungrateful. I don't think that was worth my time. Grinding until 4am, I don't think that was worth the time. But we have got some rewards from some other fellas now. So we're going to go ahead and open up those and see if we can get those guys anything good. And by the way, I just want to shout this out. I'm not disappointed. I just don't think that it was worth the time I put in. Other people might feel differently. I'm not disappointed in any way, shape or form. I just wish that, you know, I didn't invest so much time and stay up so late on Sunday and whatnot. Because it really... You know, it, I had a bad headache and whatnot, and it just wasn't a very pleasant experience. But, you know, I, I'm happy with, I'm happy with you know, the informed Vardy and the red Vardy and the red Ben Yedder and whatnot. I just want to make that clear, all right? Let's go open some more rewards. Time for Sam's rewards. Now, this is Sam's team, if you guys are wondering. Uh, it's an absolutely naughty team. Uh, very nice team indeed. Just want to show you guys something real quick. It is a first owner only club. Now, that is 100% that is correct. It's a first owner only club. He has got some ridiculous first owner cards. We're talking Headliner Royce, Vinicius, Ramos. It is disgusting. It's honestly disgusting. So, I really like opening rewards for Sam because he always messages me on Twitter. He, he sends me a list, a complete list of the reds that he wants in order. And I think it's really cool. Uh, he actually got, um, for Division Rivals, he got uh, Division 1, Rank 1, I think. Which gives us two Ultimate Packs and two Mega Packs. I want to say it's Division 1 Rank 1. It is Division 1 Rank 1. This could be my first time opening Division 1 Rank 1 rewards, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so we get two Mega Packs and two Ultimate Packs. And then I think he only finished Gold 1. And I think that was mainly because um, 
he didn't have time to play this weekend. He actually messaged me saying that he just he didn't have the time to grind for Elite. He usually finishes Elite, but he just didn't have the time to grind it. So we have Gold Bomb Rewards, which arguably on a promo week are uh, better because the T100K packs are just you're more likely to pack promo players. But we have two uh, red player picks. And in order, uh, from top to bottom, we want Ben Yedda, James, Pepe from Lille, Sterling, Brandt, Bellotti, Pepe from... Uh, from Porto, uh, Leno, Vardy, Biglia, and then just the highest rated after that. So let's hope we can get one of his top sort of 10. And uh, we've got and got Biglia. He, that's actually his last on his list. But we'll take it anyway. Because uh, cause it is one of his lists to be fair. But uh, I was hoping we could get one a little bit higher rated EA. Come on. Let's get something good. Come on EA, please. Not a good week. Not a good week this week. Uh, 87 physical. What are your... St oh, my word. 96 strength on the man. And 93 aggression, to be fair. You know, not bad. Uh, we'll take that. Um, not amazing from goal one. Not amazing at all. But you know what? We've got some pretty big packs to open right now. So I'm pretty excited to jump straight into it. We're going to start off with the two mega packs. These are from Rivals. So let's see if we can get something good from either mega pack from Rivals. And we're going to start off with a board. We'll take that. What's it going to be? It's going to be something good. It's going to be Portuguese, right winger. Bernardo Silva is not bad, actually. That's pretty decent. 84 rated. Good rating. Good league. Good good like position as well. It's hard to come by the sort of left and right sided midfielders, to be honest. Uh, it really is actually quite difficult. So that's pretty decent, to be fair. Um, you know, for SBCs and whatnot, he'll be pretty useful. And is it an untradeable dupe? It is not. It's a tradable duplicate. Okay, nice one. We'll take that. It's a tradable dupe. He'll probably make a few thousand coins on that card if he wants to sell him. Uh, now we have another mega pack now from Rivals. Then we've got the two ultimate packs, which I'm very excited to open. We've got a walkout in a mega pack. Let's go. <gasps> is that an icon? Icon! Oh my word! English centre back. Oh, we've just got an icon. It's Sol Campbell. It's 87 Sol Campbell. No way. That's untradeable as well. Oh, we just packed that from a mega pack, and I've been I've been talking rubbish about mega packs. That's a 455k card. Oh my god! I, I'm, I've got a conscious effort right now not to wake up everyone in the vicinity because it is quite early on a Thursday morning. But that is unreal. That is absolutely unreal. We've just packed an icon. Oh my word! In an untradeable rivals reward pack, in an untradeable mega pack from rivals. Oh my word, man. That is unreal. That is unreal. Oh my word, let's go. Icon, baby. It's been a while since we packed an icon in any kind of rewards. I think the last time was in gold three rewards, I think, which is mental. I don't... Okay, all right. I said this last time. Genuinely, I woke... Like, I didn't wake up this morning. I didn't go to bed. But I got up out of bed and I was like, dude, like, I just felt the icon. I just felt it. That is mental. Let's go. Okay, we've got ultimate packs and rivals now. We're not going to get a walkout in the first ultimate pack, which is kind of expected after packing an icon. But that's still pretty nuts, especially for a first owner, Rota Glory. That is actually sick. That is so sick. So uh, we'll go ahead and take that. that. That's really, really dope. Um, we've got an 84 there in the ultimate pack. Not actually a great ultimate pack there. It's actually a pretty disappointing ultimate pack. Um... We'll just go ahead and swap these plays so we can discard them for a coin value, actually. Uh, but that's a pretty disappointing ultimate pack, to be fair. And I know it's weird to complain after an icon, but an 84 in an ultimate pack is not great. We've got another one, though, from Rivals. Let's see if we can get something good. Come on. <clears throat> My voice is about to go. That's actually nuts. We've got a walkout. Come on. What's it going to be? It's not going to be an icon this time. What's it going to be, though? Brazilian. Goalkeeper. There's Allison. We said about him earlier. We wanted him earlier, but we've got him there. Walk out Allison since obviously he got upgraded. Uh, not bad, to be fair. I think it's interesting that it says Becker on his shirt, but Allison in his card. Uh, that's pretty interesting, though. I mean, it's not really, but it is. I don't know. My head's frazzled. We just packed an icon, man. I'm free. I'm free. Gassed. I'm really excited right now. That's that, that's dope. Um, I'm happy as well. We've got an inform in the same pack. That actually, that card looks pretty nice. That card looks really nice, actually. Six foot two, 75 pace. It's a decent card. But that's a decent 100k pack. An 87 and an inform. We've got an 83 there as well. We'll send to the transfer list. We'll go ahead and discard all these dupes as well if they're tradable or untradable. Um, just make any coins back we can. And I uh, think they're all going to be untradeable. Yep, all untradeable. We just wasted a bit of time. Anyway, we've got 200k backs now from Rival. Uh, sorry, from Champs Rewards. Gold one. Let's see if we can get anything good from the 100k packs. 100k pack number one. Let's see that walkout symbol. No walkout symbol in the first one. It's going to be a board though. What's it going to be from the first 100k pack? It's going to be French left wing. 
Martial, actually. Upgraded Martial's not bad. That's pretty decent. Maybe I'm just biased because I'm a Man United fan, but that's the first time I've packed upgraded Martial, so not bad. Not bad at all. We'll take that. Don't think he goes for anything, but um, might be just a nice 84 to have in the club. You know, obviously being a winger and whatnot, being Premier League. Two 83s there. We'll discard the two players there. We've got one more 100k pack now. And then we're done with Sam's rewards for this week, which I think he cannot complain at all. It's been pretty insane. It's not going to end on a walkout, sadly. It's going to end on a board, though. Can it be an 85, maybe? It's going to be Uruguayan centre-back Jimenez, 84, I think. Uh, yeah, 84 rated. So not a bad, not bad end, should I say. Pretty nuts rewards, though. Pretty nuts rewards. Uh, we'll take them. That's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, let's go ahead and store those two, discard the rest, and let's go and open Simon's Rewards now, who I think got the same. So let's go and open them. Now it's time for Simon's Rewards. We've got Division Rival Rewards. We've got two Rare Players Packs, and I think two Rare Election Players Packs? Am I... No, two Mega Packs, sorry. This is a uh, Rank 3 in Division two, uh, 1, I think. Yeah, Rank 3 in Division 1, so it's a little bit better than, uh, than Division 2, obviously. Uh, we've got his Foot Champions Rewards, who I think also got... Uh, gold one, yep, got gold one. I think he had like a few games left as well, like a good few games. He could have easily got elite. Um, but he's got uh, he's got this exact same as the last gold one, 50,000 coins, two player picks. Simon doesn't like to send me a list, he just likes to trust me on who to pick. So uh, I'm gonna let my my instincts pick the right player, and I think that is genuinely identical to the first player pick from from Sam's rewards. I might be wrong. Scroll back in the video if you have, if you want to check. But I think that might have been an identical player pick. Let's see the second one. Come on, be something good. <sighs> Alright, you know what? Not great. Not great at all. We'll go with the pace guy because, you know, what else do you go with there? Not amazing there for Simon, sadly. But, you know, the red rewards weren't great on Sam's account. We went and packed an icon. So, let's see if we can do the same thing here. We've got two mega packs. It's written in the stars, lads. We've got two mega packs. We've got a walkout. Don't even do this to me. Okay. Oh my word. For some reason, I thought that it was gonna, history was going to rewrite itself. We've got a, a Spanish center mid from Bayern. We've got and got ourselves Tiago. 87 rated now because he got an upgrade. That's decent to be fair. Great for SBCs. Uh, saves an, an extra like 28,000 coins, roughly something like that for an 87. So that's decent. Sa saves coins. Good, good pack pool there. Um, I just realised Simon's transfer list is actually completely full. Let me go and quickly check if I can uh, if I can clear that or clear some players on that. Uh, he's got 19 sold. He's got one item sold. Sorry, that that's annoying. Um, yikes! Can we? I'll be back in a second when we've cleared all this. We managed to, to to clear quite a few slots there. I cleared about 11 slots or 10 slots or something. So we've got enough slots here just in case we do pack something mental, which I'll be very surprised if we pack enough players to fill up the slots I've just cleared because. It usually does not happen, but we'll see. Anyway, we've got a board in the second mega pack. It's going to be a Brazilian cam. Is it going to be Talisca? 83 Talisca. I forgot he even got an upgrade, to be honest. Uh, we'll take that, I guess. It's not too bad. Um, obviously, nothing compared to his uh, ca carnival car that he got for uh, for free this week. He did the weekly objectives, which, by the way, I'm not a fan of. I think he moves quite slow in game. He's quite sluggish. He turns like a bus, but just my opinion. If you feel differently, let me know in those comments down below. I do have the hiccups right now as well. I'm trying to contain them, but... You know, it's not really working right now. We'll, we'll have to see. But uh, we've got to go ourselves a board in the first 50k pack from Rivals. It's going to be a French centre mid Taliso. I pack him so many times. I actually pack Taliso so much and I never used to. Back when he was like 12, 15k at the start of the game, I would never pack Taliso. Hey, look at that perfect link. Someone called Capgun Tom up. Capgun Tom up. Can't even speak. Anyway, uh, I never used to pack him when he was expensive. Now he's not expensive. I pack him all the time. Maybe that's just like me putting a tinfoil hat on but pause that theory we've got a walk out oh carnival card oh my word french left mid ribbery <laughs> what oh my pack look today what no way how much does ribbery sell for oh my word He's only about 100k, but it's an 89 rated carnival card. Let's go. We've had an icon and a carnival card in packs. Come on. Let's go, man. That's amazing. That is dope. 
That is absolutely dope. That card looks, apart from the 64, like, ignore the last two columns. That card actually looks really dope. Five star skills. He'll be an amazing, just fun card to use, I feel like, for the last like five, ten minutes of the game. That's dope, man. Come on. We've got two 100k packs now for champs. This has been an amazing video so far. This has been top notch. This has been top notch for pack openings, you know. This has been one of the best I've uploaded in a long, long time. That's dope. We've got Jimenez again in the first 100k pack. We'll take that 84 rated. I think he's got a ton of the informs on, on, on his transfer list as well for uh, investment purposes. So uh, so we're going to have to send that one to the transfer list as well. We've got a, a few decent plays in there. I saw a Cancelo, a Jorginho. I don't know why I'm so wired right now. I'm kind of like skipping through. Last 100k pack of the video. Let's go. Come on, EA. Show us the walkout. No walkout in the last one, but you can't complain with an icon. We've had a carnival card. I am... So happy right now, dude. I think it's been an amazing pack opening. We've got Robertson in the last pack. Leave a like down below if you think this pack opening has just been mental. Because I think it's been absolutely incredible. So uh, leave a like down below right now if you think it's been great. Because it deserves a like. Thank you all for watching this video. One of the best I've ever done. We got Carnival Ribery. We got an Icon. We got... I got 86 Ben Yedda in my red cards as well. I got, you know, Inform Vardy in my 100k pack. I got some really cool pack balls. I think it is as a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later.